Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, as mentioned earlier, if you have plans to be outdoors the first part of the night, some reservations and things like that, go ahead. It's not until well after midnight the precipitation will start to work in. Take a look at live pictures now. Finishing up a, a decent day, I mean on the chilly side, but some sunshine. Thin clouds increasing right now along the south shore. These are live pictures from Narragansett, uh, along Narragansett Town Beach. Clouds working in, but no precipitation yet. Now, the freezing rain advisory for the areas in pink, Kent County points north, and doesn't go into effect until 2 o'clock in the morning until 11 a.m. So what will happen is plain rain late at night coming out of the sky, but the ground temperatures in some cases may be near the freezing mark. So you get a little bit of a glaze overnight early tomorrow morning. Won't last long, but it may be significant enough if you're traveling. And then eventually just plain rain takes over as warmer, milder air moves in for Saturday. So locally on Doppler, it's fine. Now the air is very dry as we take a look at conditions and what I'm tracking. Dry for now, certainly a wet Saturday. We've been talking about this all along. In fact, the rain may be heavy enough at times for some, you know, big puddles and at least minor localized street flooding. Unsettled on Sunday. Sunday's not a stormy day, but it's brisk, kind of raw. Some either light rain or some light snow showers. I'll show you that in seven day future cast. Threat tracker is fine for now, but overnight through Saturday in the medium category, the combination of a brief period of ice, but essentially widespread steady rain, some dense fog, and then low for Sunday. Nothing too significant as far as those scattered showers. Getting ready for a real pretty sunset this evening in Providence. The temperature at 37. Light breezes, air very dry, humidity at 33%. So that dry start tonight through at least the midnight hour. Temperatures holding now in the mid to upper 30s, but falling near the freezing mark. So conditions across New England, uh, temperatures a bit on the chilly side, but notice the mild air off to our south and west. That'll take over tomorrow. That's why most of this storm system will be in the form of plain rain. The moisture is actually, we're tracking it coming out of the Gulf of Mexico and across the Ohio River Valley quite a bit of it though this should be a widespread rain headed our way so tomorrow morning it's wet some icy spots early well inland and then during the afternoon widespread rain and fog some big puddles and localized street flooding seven day future cast again looking raw wet and brisk for your Saturday the the St. Patrick's Day parade in Newport 39 to 45 with rain likely just scattered light rain and snow showers on Sunday it's nothing serious it's not a storm but it's a kind of a, a brisk gray and cool day temperatures only up a third We'll have to wait until Monday to see all day sunshine and temperatures in the mid 40s. This time around, it's mainly umbrellas and not snow shovels or snow plows. All right, Tony, thank you. And now here.